Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis. I'm a third year medical student from the Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health. And in this video, I'll be talking about my essentials for medical school, online classes edition. With classes in med school moving to online, a lot of students are faced with the decision of how to create their setup for online learning. With a multitude of gadgets, apps, stationery, and different accessories to choose from, I've narrowed it down to the bare essentials for you to optimize your learning. I've timestamped this video into different sections depending on the type of items I'll be discussing, so feel free to skip around to the portions that interest you the most. The first essential every medical student needs is a decent laptop to handle the amount of lectures, whether asynchronous or synchronous, from our professors. For me, I use the MacBook Pro 2015 with Retina Display, and this has been my workhorse since I first got it in college. It easily handles any tasks I need, from schoolwork to editing my YouTube videos. My only complaint is that my model is currently the baseline model, so it only allows me to have 128GB of storage, which requires me to use an external hard drive or Google Drive to offload the files that I don't use often. Now for online classes, using a machine like a MacBook Pro is completely overkill, especially for the price. For those who are looking for recommendations, I recommend you get a laptop that meets the minimal specifications to run programs like Zoom or Canvas. Ideally, those laptops will have around an Intel i5 core processor and at least 8GB of RAM. A good brand of laptop to buy would be from brands like Dell, Lenovo, HP, or Acer, but I recommend you first start looking at second-hand models since most laptops with those specs would cost upwards of 30,000 pesos. For those of you who want to buy a brand new product but can't afford the price of a brand new laptop, I suggest you buy an iPad instead. And when it comes to tablets, Apple has been the king of this category for years. And although Android has caught up in some regards over the past few years, they still all pale in comparison to Apple in terms of quality for the price. The tablet that I use is the iPad 2018 with the first generation Apple Pencil. And as someone who's been using it since the first year of medical school, that this little device has more than enough power to handle all the Zoom calls, essay writing, note taking, and handling all the textbooks that I use as reference for school. If price is still a concern for you, there are plenty of iPads you can buy on the second-hand market that are still compatible with the Apple Pencil and will still cost you a total of less than 20,000 pesos. Some of you may be wondering, between an iPad and a laptop, which should you get? If I had to only choose one, I would choose a laptop because it provides way more utility and versatility compared to an iPad. Especially when it comes to file management and having multiple programs open to multitask, I feel that laptops still outclass iPads in this respect. If, however, you have a desktop at home that can handle doing basic word processing and making PowerPoint presentations, but for whatever reason can't handle Zoom, that's the time I'd probably lean towards getting an iPad instead. Probably one of my favorite gadgets in a work-from-home setup is a pair of noise-canceling headphones. With most of us now sharing our workspaces with our parents or our siblings due to the shift to work from home, it's important to have a nice pair of headphones or earphones in order to drown out possible distractions. I personally recommend that you invest in a pair of noise canceling headphones and earphones such as the Bose QC35s because it feels as if you're in a quiet library even though there are people going about their day around you. A good alternative would be in-ear earphones which would provide a good seal for noise isolation. For those who have the privilege of studying their own private space within their homes, a good device to have would also be a Bluetooth speaker. I used this one from the brand Yell that I got a few Christmases ago, but I think they've discontinued now, so I'll leave links down in the description to good alternatives that you can use for your study setup. As for the apps that I use on these devices, I use several educational productivity apps to help me with my tasks for school. One of my favorite apps is the app UpToDate, which I use routinely for preparing for small group discussions. UpToDate is basically an online database for the medical community that contains the latest information on different diseases. The database contains articles from etiology to symptoms to possible treatments for different diseases all based on the latest research in an easy-to-understand package. The utility of having this information readily at hand is so useful that I have all the information preloaded on my phone or iPad so that I can access it even without internet. Access, however, is subscription-based, so make sure to check if your school has a subscription to the service. As many of you may know, I've been a diehard Notion user since I started using the app consistently earlier this year and basically use it for all my schoolwork and YouTube work as it allows me to have it all in one place. With it, I can easily organize my tasks, notes, and calendars all in one place and easily access it on my different devices. I've made a video in the past of how I use Notion as a medical student, so feel free to check that out as I'll link it down in the description below. And for taking notes on my iPad or annotating documents, my app of choice is Notability since I've been using it since my first year in med school. However, GoodNotes is a good alternative and a lot of my friends use it because it has better organizing capabilities compared to Notability. 
Now, I'm not much of a stationary user, but in the times I do end up using stationary such as pens or highlighters, I do have some preferences. For pens, I recommend that you get one of these multicolored pens as it's really useful having multiple colors with you at hand compared to having to get different colors of your pencil case each time. And this is especially useful if you use a color system for taking down notes. For highlighting purposes, I like to use the pastel ones from Stabilo as they're not too bright yet stand out enough on the page to see where I highlighted my notes. In addition to these, I recommend that you get a laptop or book stand so that you can prop up your devices and books and notes up to eye level so you don't strain your back and neck from staring at them all day. With the shift to online classes, most medical students will have to take the initiative upon themselves to practice their clinical skills and this is especially true for second and third year students. With some of these items being costly to buy, my friends at Medikits are gladly sponsoring this portion of the video to showcase their range of affordable products which include some of my essentials for online medical classes. One of the items I really like in their store is their medical bag because having a dedicated bag for your medical supplies is really useful since it allows you to store it all in one place rather than scattered on your desk. This is especially useful if you have a lot of loose items such as your Neurohammer, pen light, and tuning fork, and this bag makes it really easy to organize these things due to its many pockets and high quality zippers. They also sell a decently priced swing manometer, and I feel that this is a device that a lot of med students should master using as early as possible since blood pressure is one of the vital signs that you would get during the initial evaluation of a patient. Last but not the least, they also sell a very well priced stethoscope from NTI France and I feel that, like the swing nanometer, this should be in the kit of every single medical student since it's a versatile tool that can be used to examine many organ systems. You can buy these materials along with a wide variety of their other products at their store which I'll link down in the description. And don't forget to use code CHINOYMD at checkout to get 5% off purchases above 1,500 pesos. So what are your med school essentials? Leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.